The Spanish Civil War took place in Spain from 1936 to 1939 between the Republican side and the national side, which was led by General Francisco Franco. At that time, the president of Spain was Manuel Azaña, a democratically elected Republican. As part of the Spanish army was based in Morocco, several of the most influential generals, with Francisco Franco at the head, gave a call. The left side was known as the Republican side and was formed by the government that had existed until then, along with labor unions, communists, anarchists, and many workers and farmers. The opposite side was the nationalist. There were the rebel part of the army, the bourgeoisie, the landlords, and generally the upper classes, for different reasons related to the European context of the time. The Republican side was supported by the Soviet Union and the European democracies, while the nationalist side had the support of the fascist governments of Germany and Italy, which meant that this side was better armed than the opposite. The rebel troops spread the fear in many ways, but the most outstanding was the continuous and indiscriminate bombing from the air to the civilian population, making Madrid the first European capital in history to be bombed. The population was outraged, and not only the Spanish, also people from all over the world who didn't want to stay with their arms full by watching the Spanish people being massacred and the governments not only doing nothing but also preventing the Republic from receiving help like weapons or troops to defend themselves. Many citizens left their countries and went to Spain, hidden from the governments, assuming the consequences that this could lead with it. They arrived on foot, by bicycle, on trains and on ships. Citizens from all over the world, republicans, anarchists, communists, socialists, trade unionists and left-wing democrats who were not united by either their country or their political militancy, neither their race or religion. What united them was their anti-fascist ideology. These were the international realists. It's estimated that approximately 58,308 people participated, of whom 15,000 died. One of the brigadistas was Alumni Williams, the main character of this story. Alumni Williams was born on February 20, 1930, at Glyfage Coach in South Wales. where he worked as a coal miner since he was 14 years old. In his youth, Williams moved to London, where he participated in the famous demonstration against the black shirts of Oswald Mosley on Cable Street on October 4, 1936, in which he was seriously injured and was saved from the almost certain death by his brother. Already put in the, ca the chaos, the civil war in Spain caught his attention and decided to win too. He tried to cross the England Channel, posing as a tourist, and researched the border of Perpignan, but was rejected, so he looked for another way to enter the peninsula. Then he found the ship city of Barcelona, and he decided to embark. On May 13, 1937, the ship was on a route to Marseille, Valencia, when it was torpedoed and sunk in less than three minutes in front of Magrat de Mar in the hands of the submarine General San Juan. Many of the passengers died, but he managed to save his life and reach the mainland thanks to a small boat of fishermen. Once in Spain, he was immediately sent to Albacete, where he was assigned to the Thelman Battalion as a doctor in the Battle of Harama for two weeks, due to his knowledge of first aid. He was then assigned to the George Washington Battalion in Brunete, where he was wound while attending to a patient. After recovering from his leg wound, he joined the Abraham Lincoln Battalion, where he participated in the battles of Belchite and Teruel, where he took the nickname 
the Limey Dog, which means the British Doctor. Finally, he requested to join the British Battalion and was part of it as a doctor during the Battle of the Ebro. In 1938, he participated in the farewell of the International Brigades of Barcelona, a multitudinous congregation before some brigadistas returned to the gay countries of origin. In this farewell, attend Manuel Azaña, President of the Republic at the time, Dr. Negrin, President of the Government, Martin Barrio, the President of the Kurds, Luis Companys, President of Catalonia, and representative of all left-wing parties. When he returned to the United Kingdom, he realized as a member of the Royal Air Force Police. In 2005, he returned to visit Spain, and on August 2, 2006, he died naturally in Cardiff, capital of Wales, thus closing the legacy of Welsh brigadiers, as he was the last of these to die. All the information about the life of this brigadista and also the other thousand, has been rescued thanks to the work of historians that have fought to pay homage to many brave men who once risked their lives to save the lives of others. No passareu, i si passeu, serà damunt d'un clap de cendra. Les nostres vides les prendreu, nostre esperit no l'heu de prendre. Més no serà, per més que feu, no passareu. No passareu, i si passeu, Quan tots haurem deixat de viure, sabreu de sobres a quin preu s'ha bat un poble digne i lliure. Més no serà, per més que feu, no passareu. No passareu, i si passeu, decidireu un cop més la història entre el selló que clava en creu i el just que hi mor de qui és la glòria. Més no serà, per més que feu, no passareu. A sang i a foc avançareu, de fortalesa en fortalesa, però què hi fa si queda en peu quelcom més fort, nostra fermesa. Per això cantem, per més que feu, no passareu.